when the governing philosophy is state security is the sharp and dear weapon of our party, that would explain the totalitarianism under which Albanians lived for almost half a century. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we visit the House of Leeds, the Museum of Secret Surveillance in Tirana, Albania. The reason the museum is called the House of Leaves is that when this building was the headquarters for the National Spy Agency, the Sigurimi, the building was surrounded by ivy and its leaves. Contained behind the ivy were the walls, and inside the walls were secrets that few people knew about. The House of Leaves, in fact, aims to commemorate the, vi the psychological violence and the controls which were made to the citizens from the former state security to encourage the uh, debate and uh, uh, between generations and between uh, citizens about the past, the present and the Albanian future. The centerpiece of the House of Leeds is its showroom of equipment used for surveillance. For technophiles, this collection represents a retrospective of 1960s, 70s and 80s German and Japanese electronics. All of these pieces were wired or used in some capacity to obtain information. So, uh, so, so how did I get my hands on a uh, relic of a camera such as this? It, uh, it's mine. I, uh, I still shoot on film. So what is this collection of drills on the wall? Uh, these are working tools that uh, were used by uh, Sigurimi, by former uh, state security, to enter in the houses of people and to put the bugs in the walls, for example, uh, while this other instrument was used to put the bug uh, under the parquet, the floor. Uh, these are movable uh, bugs, uh, which in fact were produced here in uh, Albania in the 80s. And uh, they uh, were movable, so they uh, were put in the clothes or uh, in ordinary uh, objects. The coat of an agent, Sigurini. Uh, which is not a normal coat because inside of it we have the camera and the button was the objective of the camera. The bug is the natural motto for the House of Leaves. Not only were bugs used towards surveillance, but the bug and its outline shows the insidious manner in which the state goes about extending its arms to obtain information. Here would be an example of an Albanian living room circa the 1960s and 70s. Atleva mentions, however, that not every living room would be this meticulous or have this many objects because it would only be the affluent or the well-connected in Albania society who could eventually obtain these objects. This room is important also to show where the bug was hidden in the wall and here we have a bug which is hidden in fact it's not uh, hidden as well as in that time because now it can be remarked in uh, all these objects of uh, every everyday objects and ordinary objects that we all had had in our houses because these were the only furniture that we could find them in the market in that period the bugs could be uh, hidden in the frame for example in uh, these objects, in all these objects that you have also seen. The victims of Enwar Hoxha's communist, Stalinist and totalitarian regime over 45 years in Albania were staggering. 
For a country of 3 million people as of 1990, over 18,000 were arrested and jailed for their political activities during a 45 year period. Of those 18,000, 1,000 died at the hands of the state. It wasn't only the political prisoners who suffered under the Sigurini. As Itleva explains, entire families were collectively punished by the government's watchful eye. If one person was declared an enemy, it was the whole family who suffered. It's not only one person of the only the one who had committed uh, something wrong. Uh, if I say psychological violence, uh, it's for the victims, for people who were uh, executed, uh, put in prison or in internment camps, but also it's a broader sense of the whole society. The whole society was under the psychological uh, violence. Naturally, when the museum was a functioning spy agency, it had its own darkroom for film development. So, from the House of Leaves, the Museum of Secret Surveillance in Tirana, Albania, this has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Though the sign appears to be posted for amusement, yes, some of the rooms are bugged.